Hi, this is Tony Northrup with VistaClues.com, giving you an overview of Internet Explorer 9's Resource Candidate. The RC is the first feature complete release. It's not yet final, however, so they might change the way things look or work, but they won't add anything new to it. So right away as you start up after using Internet Explorer 8, you'll notice some big differences. The address bar is now much smaller. It's also been combined with the tab bar. Tabs still work basically the same. You can add new tabs, but when you open a new tab, you're taken to a very Chrome-like page that displays recently accessed or commonly accessed pages. You can open these up just by clicking on them. You'll also notice no status bar at the bottom. It doesn't give you any information at all about how pages are loading. Now, as a developer, that's a little bit irritating to me. You'll also notice that the menu bar has completely disappeared. You can always bring the menu bar back by pressing the Alt key on your keyboard. And there are your familiar menus. In its place is a very Chrome-like feature. The little settings icon here pulls up commonly accessed settings. Similarly, if you need to access your favorites, just click the star and you'll see your favorites. You can also access RSS feeds, a feature I never liked in Internet Explorer, and your history. The home button still opens up your home page. So these changes help reduce the amount of screen space wasted by Internet Explorer itself. It shows you more of your web page basically, giving you more room top to bottom to view the web page. I think there's still a lot of space wasted here in a completely empty title bar. It doesn't even have text. So I don't know why they dedicated this entire space to just having three buttons over here. It doesn't make any sense to me. If you decide you need more space for your tabs, I tend to keep 10, 20 tabs open sometimes. You can just right click here and then click show tabs on a separate row. And they'll pop right down and give you more space in your address bar. Now by right clicking tabs, you'll also notice some features such as reopening recently closed tabs. That way, if you accidentally close a tab, you can quickly pull it back up. Um, that definitely happens to me. While I'm here, you'll notice that there's no closed tabs to the right. You can close all the other tabs besides your active one, but Chrome has this great feature where you can just close the tabs to the right. Sometimes I want to keep five tabs open, but not all of them. I can just rearrange them and so that all the ones I'm using are to the left and then just quickly close the remaining. So the real benefits of IE9 are not visible. They're really behind the scenes. Internet Explorer 8 was very, very slow in many ways. Its JavaScript performance had been greatly surpassed by both Firefox and Chrome. Video performance was poor, and even Flash performance was poor. They have changed the JavaScript engine dramatically, using similar techniques that Chrome uses to compile the JavaScript and speed its object-oriented nature. Now the JavaScript performance should be very comparable to Chrome. Internet Explorer 9 also adds something that Chrome does not currently have, and that is GPU rendering. They use the high performance chip on your graphics card to do a lot of the work of displaying a web page, especially with things like high definition video. Now I've never had a problem with that in performance with Chrome, but faster is always better. Another cool new feature in Internet Explorer 9 is that you can tear tabs off. So if you wanted to save this page, to quickly access it later, just grab it and drag it down to the toolbar here and drop it. Now it will be pinned and even if I don't have Internet Explorer open, I can quickly click it and that same pit web page will pop right up. Um, it's basically just a shortcut to a favorite, but it helps and no other browser has that right now. So let's talk a little bit more about how Internet Explorer 9 compares to Google Chrome. Um, this is a pretty obvious comparison because Google is really making Internet Explorer their competition. They have released management tools for the enterprise, which is where a, a place that Internet Explorer has owned so far. So now you can manage Chrome within your Active Directory. They're directly taking on IE. Um, Chrome has also been the performance winner, and it's the reason. I have been using it. It's simply much faster than either Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari. Um, so Internet Explorer 9 shows a lot of similarities to Chrome, kind of creepy similarities. They clearly simply stole some of the user interface elements and 
use it to their advantage. That's okay. Chroma did the same thing to Firefox and so forth. Uh, it's nice that they can all take advantage of each other's improvements. Um, one improvement you won't see in Internet Explorer is Flash performance. Now, Chrome has Flash integrated into it, and it means that Flash components, such as the display that you'll see here on the National Geographic page, or Flash games, won't perform as well in Internet Explorer 9 as they will in Chrome. Chrome is always going to be faster. I did some more extensive testing with more high-performance Flash games, and Chrome was noticeably faster. Running in Internet Explorer, the game seemed choppy. In Chrome, they seemed completely smooth. So if Flash performance is important to you, Chrome is still going to be your choice, at least when comparing it to this resource candidate. They might still make some performance improvements for the final release. Another feature that I use a lot is zooming in and out of a page. I'll go to my photography site here. Um, sometimes I want to make the web page take up the full width, or I want to zoom it even farther. Now you can do this quickly by pressing Control plus or Control minus. So what you'll see here with Internet Explorer is that it keeps the zooming centered, which cuts off both the left and the right of the page. That feels really unnatural to me. In Chrome and most other browsers, what you'll see instead, when I zoom in farther, far enough so that it can't display the entire width of the page, it continues to show me the right side of the page. And that makes a lot more sense, especially when you go to sites like a news site. As you can see here, the entire width of the important stuff is still visible, but if I were to do that in Internet Explorer, you can see the entire left side is cut off. Most web pages put all the important stuff to the left and they put ads and stuff to the right. So this is kind of a waste of space. Now, of course, you can always just drag it over here, um, but it's about convenience. So I have a couple more gripes about Internet Explorer. This is just a design thing, but it kind of bugs me. Look at the button here. It just kind of gets cut off. I don't know why they did that. It does allow you to import I can't even remember where it is. You can import your favorites from other browsers. Here it is. You have to click the favorite star, and then you click the add to favorites list, and then you click import export. It's a really weird place to put it. So it will let you import your browser favorites and shortcuts from other browsers, but it only supports Firefox and Safari. So you can't migrate from Chrome to Internet Explorer. I don't know if Chrome uses some proprietary format or if Microsoft just didn't think Chrome had enough market to bother implementing that feature. Like I said, I use Chrome and I would love to be able to import my favorites from Chrome in an Internet Explorer so I could really give it a shot, um, but I can't do that that easily. Um, also, while they import your favorites, they don't import your stored passwords, which is really important because, like most people, I go to many different websites that require different logins, and I don't want to remember my username and password for every site. So I really rely on the browser to remember those things for me. So overall, Internet Explorer 9 is a big improvement over Internet Explorer 8. You'll see more usable screen space and far, far better in performance. So I would go ahead and get Internet Explorer 9 as soon as you can. I still don't think Internet Explorer 9 is my favorite browser yet. I'll take another look at it when the final version is released, but I'm still going to stick with Chrome for the time being. If you'd like more technology-oriented videos, go ahead and subscribe to my feed or visit my website, vistaclues.com.